Um, I think it's all Michael's fault. <laughs> He got in touch with me about a year ago. He asked me about this project I started 27 years ago, 28 years ago. So it was kind of funny that the tape got put in my garage and I forgot about it because I was on tour with, uh, with Yes and uh, recording other albums and things like that. He said, why don't you come over to Orlando and uh, do some work on the tapes and uh, make, uh, make the music happen. It's been an ongoing 27 years later, we're finishing it. It's kind of crazy. <laughs> These are the best years because, you know, the, gosh, what else am I going to do? Who wants it so that you could never get too happy? Who proves the strange that they don't know? Who wants it so that days would come when you were lonely? They don't know, they don't know, they don't know, they don't know, they don't know. Are we sort of ready? Ish. I always think there's great music to create and there's always great music to be done and that's what pushes me along, you know, the idea that you can't say, oh, I'm going to go in the studio and make some music that's not as good as it was five years ago or ten years ago or twenty, thirty years ago. No, I always think the next stuff I'm going to do is just going to be amazing because why not? You know, you can't think on any other sort of level, really. As I say, I'm healthier, uh, I sing as strong as ever, I have a great um, friendship with a lot of musicians throughout my career and uh, I hold them very dear. You know, it's, it's kind of interesting that sometimes you, like a family or a brother, musical brothers would call each other, you know, and sometimes you don't agree with each other and sometimes you don't see each other for two or three years and then you get back together and so on. So music always brings you together. It's the music that uh, makes it all worthwhile. I was, I'm a very strong willed guy. You know, when uh, Chris and Steve decided to throw me out of the band because I wasn't able to tour, I just said, okay, I'm gonna go on tour as a solo artist. Tell me where does music come from? Inside, outside. Yeah, we all do it in different forms. There's prayer, uh, that put time of silence in your mind and when you're sitting in a garden or something like that. I just learned it over the years uh, and I was fortunate enough to get a, a spiritual teacher uh, to come into my life and uh, teach me how to meditate um, sort of very 
deeply. You know, when, when you get success, you tend to think this is all that there is, and then when all of a sudden you realize, you know, the world is uh, full of so many incredible adventures, and you've got to learn to experience them. live for one thing and one thing alone and that is to find the divine energy within you that is connected to the divine energy that surrounds us. And you have a lot more you want to do and a lot yeah, more yeah, you want to say. A lot. Oh, just keep on going.